Ini kita saya pun ada kenyataan dalam bahasa Malaysia. My rest read English first. Because I got my lawyers here. First, I regret that some action, some sections. First, I regret that some sections of the press are making up inaccurate stories published today, when I had not spoken to them on this issue. For this reason. I'm coming out with a written press statement to avoid any misinterpretation or willful misrepresentation. I read in a Malaysia Kini yesterday that allegations of corruption were made against me in a day on Rakyat by Perda Chairman and Tasik Glugo MP Datu Shabudin Yaya, where he linked the purchase of my house to the 2012 sale of government land in Taman Mangis to private developers building a private hospital and hotel. These allegations are false and baseless. There is the link that the purchase of my house was connected to the sale of government land. This is false and baseless. I want to see what facts Dato Shabudi possesses to make such allegations. I have nothing to hide. I wish to invite Dato Shabudi Yaya to a one-on-one -on -one seek truth from facts meeting with me alone in my Comta office at 11 a.m. this Sunday, 20th of March, in front of the mass media. I will be alone and he will be alone. Let us talk facts and figures in front of the mass media. <coughs> I'd like to state that after seven years as the Penang Chief Minister, I finally bought a house in Penang. It's a double-story bungalow in Pinhon Road. The house was built more than 30 years ago. I bought my house for 2.8 million ringgit on 28th of July 2015. Not from a private developer, but from a private individual. I paid for the purchase by taking a 2.1 million ringgit bank loan with a balance of 700,000 ringgit paid in cash based on what I received as Chief Minister and an elected representative. Shah Budin made claims that the value of my house is higher. However, this is an arm length transaction between me and the seller on a willing buyer and willing seller basis. The seller is a private individual through sub-sale and not a housing developer. As long as there is no coercion or undue influence, this contract for sale of the house is just like a marriage. It is up to both sides to decide what is the right price or who is the right partner. Malaysia Kini reported that Shabuding linked the house purchase to the 2012 sale of state government land in Taman Mangis to private developers who want to build a private hospital. He further claimed that the Taman Mangis land was meant for low-cost housing, implying that the low price of my house was part of a kickback. Now, this is not the first time that such a false allegation of corruption relating to the Taman Mangis land has been made. The former Penang Amno Youth Chief and now still the present Bang Bagan Amno Division Chief, Sheikh Hussein Maidin, on 19 August 2015, had to withdraw his offending statements in court and verbally apologize to me twice in front of the Penang High Court judge in his chambers after I sued him for defamation, after he apologized twice to me verbally and withdrew his statements in open court, I then withdrew my defamation action. Now, it is untrue to link my house purchase in 2015 to the 2012 sale of government land in Tamamangis, when the sale of government land was conducted by open competitive tender. Is there anything wrong in selling the land to the highest bidder? The private developer who won the bid by open competitive tender won because it gave the best and highest price. The seller of my house was not involved in the company that won the bid for the land and is not a director or shareholder of the company. Furthermore, the Penang State Tender Committee that decided on granting the land is not chaired by me 
but chaired by the Penang State Secretary. The state government has no knowledge that the Taman Mangis land was earmarked for low-cost housing. To encourage medical tourism, the state government decided to offer the land for a specialist hospital. The allegations by Barisan National of the Taman Mangis land issue is an old lie that was played up before by Barisan National before the 2013 general elections. Implying corruption without any basis, truth or facts, is character assassination to destroy me politically by trying to equate me, to equate me with Barisan National. As long as Dato Shabudin restricts his comments within the walls of Parliament, he enjoys parliamentary immunity from legal defamation. As a Perda chairman, he should seek truth from facts to show proof that I'm corrupt. For this reason, I invite him to have a one-to-one -one meeting at 11 a.m. Sunday, 20th of March 2016, in front of the media, to counter each other with facts and figures. From this one-to-one -one meeting, Malaysians can then judge for themselves who is telling the truth, who is clean, and who is making a wild, irresponsible, and baseless personal attacks. I will wait for him. And of course, he will be given full courtesy when he comes to my office here at 11 a.m. on Sunday to show evidence of his allegations that he made inside parliament. One to one. I will be alone and he will be alone. So let us get this clear in front of the media. I have nothing to hide and I hope that he can show evidence of his allegations. Thank you very much. Okay. Thank you.